Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Margarita and today I am here to bring you a huge winter book haul <laughs> because as we all know, I have a, bu a book buying problem. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is not at all a book, but it is definitely book related and they are bookmarks that I got from Nerdy Girl Designs on Etsy. I will link all her information down below because once you see these, you're definitely going to want to get yourself some. The first set that I have are Alice in Wonderland. How stinking cute are these? They're amazing. I absolutely love them. They're so pretty. I haven't used them yet. <laughs> I, I don't know. It makes sense in my mind. So the next um, set that I got were Disney villains. There was a set of four. I can only find three of them at the moment. I don't know where the rest are or where the last one is. I'm sorry. I will show you when I find her. So here is um, Ursula. How sassy is she? I mean, it's just wonderful. And then Cruella de Vil is marking the book that I'm currently reading. And then the Evil Queen is marking where I am in the Mistborn series. So they're just so amazing and they're so pretty and they're durable. So I will leave all of her information down below, you guys. They're amazing and they're not outrageously priced. Pick yourself up some. Okay, now on to the actual book. So the first part I will talk about is a book outlet order that I got and um, it was some sale that they had that I was like, oh, okay, that's an excuse. Let me click buy, you know, you know how it is, book outlet. You always take my money, darn it. So <laughs> the first book that I got is Forest of Memory. This is by Mary Robinette Cowell. Um, I started reading this. I mean, it's, what is it? It's not even a hundred pages. I started reading it and I have to admit I did not like it. I think I got like 20 pages in and I was like, oof. It's supposed to be like this written account of this woman's experience doing something. So they're like, they're supposed to be typos and things like that. But I noticed whenever that would happen, it like drew me out of the story. I just, I hate that. I hate it so much. And this is a signed copy. Not that I personally cared. So there's the, the signature. And I have to say that this is ridiculously overpriced for what it is. I mean, this is not 100 pages. It's $99 regular price. And I think I paid like $5 for this. I don't know what I was thinking. I, mm, I'm not happy with what I bought myself in that moment. But anyway, so the next thing that I got is Beastkeeper by Kat Hellison. And this is a Beauty and the, Be Beauty and the Beast retelling. As you all know, I love my fairy tale retelling so when I saw this for like three bucks I just had to pick it up I read it it was okay I don't know if I'll be keeping it but I did read it the next book that I got is Boy Snowbird by Helen Oyoyemi I hope I pronounced that right and I believe that this is a Snow White retelling but um Anyway, so I'm super excited to read this. I've I've put it in my cart over the couple months. I've been putting it in my cart and then taking it out and then putting it in my cart and then taking it out. And I was like, you know what? You might as well just buy it because you clearly want it. So just, just take the plunge. Do it. So I got it. So the next thing that I got is Gris Grimley's Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. The story is by Mary Shelley, but it has pictures and... I'm really excited to read this because I started reading Frankenstein for Halloween and I have to admit it's not that it was bad but I couldn't really hold my interest so maybe with pictures it will and the pictures are just gorgeous even if I don't like the story the pictures alone are worth it. So next I got Vixen by Rosie Garland. I've heard about this book before and I just I saw it there and I wanted it so I picked it up. I mean, I really don't need a whole lot to justify why I buy books on bookoutlet.com or anywhere for that matter. <laughs> so the next book that I got is The Mime Order, and this is by Samantha Shannon, sequel to The Bone Season, which I actually really enjoyed. So since I knew that I enjoyed it, I decided to pick up the second book. There are other books that are missing. If you'll excuse me a moment. There they are. They're right here. If you'll excuse me, my neighbor's dog is running around and playing and he's just so cute. 
and he might distract me from time to time so I'm sorry about that beforehand. So the next book that I got is Weathering by Lucy Wood. I've heard wonderful things about this and when I saw it I just had to pick it up so got that and then the last thing that I got from Book Outlet is I Zombie Repossession. This is the last installment of the I Zombie graphic novel series, I believe. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that there are none after this. So since I have all the rest of them and I enjoyed them, I wanted to know what happened with the rest of the story. Picked this bad boy up. So the next book I got when I was Christmas shopping for my mom at Barnes and Noble, and I couldn't help myself. I said, well, you know, you're doing such a nice thing buying all these books for your mom. You can you can splurge and buy yourself one book as long as it's just one book. So that's what I did. And I got The Child Thief by Brom. This is a dark um, Peter Pan retelling and again love my retelling so I don't really need an excuse to buy it but look at the pictures that he draws. How beautiful. Oh, Peter is. Peter's pretty cute not gonna lie but look at look at all the. Uh, they're just so pretty. So I've had my eye on this for a really long time and I decided to just take the plunge and buy it because I clearly wanted to read it and I can't find it at the library. So came home with me. So the next two books that I have here are from secondhand bookshops. When I went to California to visit a friend, we went to two and I picked up one from each. And so the first one is The Angel's Game by Carlos Ruiz Safon. This is a companion novel to The Shadow of the Wind. And I haven't been able to find this book anywhere else. So when I saw it there, I was like, hey, what? I mean, you're clearly going to read it. So pick it up. And I think it was like $3. So how could I not pick it up? The next one I'm wondering about myself, because clearly I had to take these all the way back across the country. And I picked the biggest book that they had in the store, it, it seems like. But I got The Historian by Elizabeth Koskova. And I believe that this is a horror novel. I don't know, it just seemed really interesting and I really wanted to... I wanted it. So, it came home with me. So, the next set of books are books that I got from the secondhand bookshop that is where I live, so luckily I just had to drive them home. I didn't have to fly with them. So the first book that I got is at Poo, The House at Pooh Corner by A.A. A. Milne. And it's just so pretty and it's one of the older editions and it was just, I couldn't leave it there. They had a couple different editions of it, but I liked this one. And when my niece and my nephew get older, I will read it to them. So what more of an excuse do you need than that? The next book that I got is Love and Lament by John Millick Thompson. When I read the synopsis, it seemed very interesting. I couldn't tell you what it is at the moment, but the cover is also beautiful, and I just decided to bring it home with me. Next, I have Alice I Have Been by Melanie Benjamin, and I believe that this is a story that follows the girl that Alice in Wonderland is based off of. I don't know if it's factual or not, but... Since I love all things Alice, I decided to pick this up, give it a try, see what I think. Next, I got In the Company of Vampires by Katie McAllister. This is a romance novel. I didn't pick it up because I wanted to read more romance. I picked it up because when I was younger, she had a young adult series and it followed these two characters and then you never really learn what happened to them. So I went looking one day and I saw that she wrote another book, but it was a romance book. And I haven't been able to find it anywhere and I finally found it there. So I picked it up and I'm going to reread those two books and read this book, find out what happens to them and decide whether or not I want to keep the series. So there you go. So the next book that I got is The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. Um, they had a whole section of her books and I kept going back and forth about which one to read, what to do, and I decided to go with this one, see how I feel about this one and if I love it, I know where to go find more for a reasonable price. So pick this one up. And then the last book that I got there is um, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark. And I've heard good things about it. I've thought about picking this book up multiple times while I was in Barnes and Noble. And you know, how can you leave it when it's so much cheaper at a secondhand bookshop? How, how do you leave that? I don't know. Clearly I don't know because I can't leave books behind. <laughs> 
So the last three books that I have, we're almost done. The last three books that I have here are from Barnes & Noble. I went the other day because I got a Barnes & Noble gift card for Christmas. So I decided why hold on to that? Go buy things now. So the first thing that I saw, I had to, I had to get. And that is Lost Gods by Brahm. It was 50% off with an additional 10% off if you were a Barnes & Noble member, which I am for the moment. So I was like, how do you say no to 60% off? You don't. That's how. So this, this definitely came home with me. And then I picked up, of course, like 15, 20 other books, but I put most of them away. And I don't know if you guys do that too. I do. And then I have to like start... Like, you don't make the cut, you don't make the cut, I can read you another time, those kinds of things. It was very it was very difficult. But the two books that did make the cut was The Universe of You by Lang Weave. This is a poetry collection. I have her other three works, so I wanted to pick this one up. I've read this one. I'll tell you guys my thoughts on it and a wrap up. And then I got Bittersweet Love by Michael Faudet, and I read his Dirty Pretty Things, and I really, really enjoyed that. So I wanted to read his new collection of work. So those are all the books that I got that I have in my possession right now because, I'm not going to lie to you, I did do a, a book outlet order and it should be coming within the next week. So you will see me again with those books. I'm going to give you a little bit of a spoiler. They're mostly Harry Potter books, but that's fine. You'll see them in about a week or so. So those are all the books that I have to show and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!